Hi there, Release Fire here. So I'm going to talk you through how to beat Ramu in Final Fantasy VII Remake Intermission. As ever, hopefully the video helps you out. If it does, drop me a like below. But to start with, fire out the Shuriken or Boomerang from a distance with Triangle and then hit Square and be ready to roll out of the way. And you're going to use that process pretty much all the way through this entire fight, make sure you block the Luminous Falcon or ideally Parius, which I'll show you a little bit later because it can do some really, really big damage. And then what you need to do is aim to stay away from the lining on the ground. So give yourself as much distance from it as possible. And if you find yourself in the middle of it, then remove lock on Ramu and run through the middle of them and get yourself some more space. And then you get back to the process of firing out the shuriken and doing some damage from afar, which works excellently. Again, give yourself some space if he gets in too close because when he gets closer, that's when he's at his most dangerous. For most of his moves, you can simply run or roll out of the way of, especially if you're strafing to the side, but make sure you prioritize cures and, uh, and potions to keep Yuffie in a good amount of health because he can one-shot you really, really easily if he catches you off guard. If you see he's about to do the lightning strike, hit him with the shuriken and then do the run. And then as soon as you've seen three lightning strikes, you've got a really good window of opportunity to get in a lot of damage. And then it's just the process of looking out for him doing his next move. This is an example of how much damage he can do if he gets too close. That move will definitely be close to one-shotting you. And again, you've got the lightning there, so you can fire out the shuriken and do some more damage. One of Ramu's most dangerous moves is the thunderous orbs, which he's gonna fire at me now. And for that, you need to roll to the side like crazy, and you should be able to get out of the way of those relatively easily, and then get back to doing damage. By this stage, it's around about the halfway stage, when he summon sparks, this is when I timed it to use my limit breaker, because then I got a chance to use a limit breaker now, and then another limit breaker towards the end of the fight, which worked really well. And then obviously when the limit breaker finishes, fire out the shuriken and get in some more damage and be ready to roll out of the way of those thunderous orbs and keep cycle rinse repeating the same process to keep ticking away at its health. It's also at the halfway point that he throws out some new moves like this circuitous bolt so you need to take a little bit of time to give yourself some distance from him and then obviously get in any healing items that you need before firing out some long distance spells like arrow which he's particularly weak to. You can also start attacking the outer sparks but keep an eye out for the luminous falcon which he does here and again you can see I managed to get in a perfect parry so R1 at the right time to be able to stagger it really quickly and then from here I just hit up an arrow and then I also threw in an ability with windstorm so both of those are wind based attacks and they do extra damage because he's particularly weak to them. You can also see that that process took out the spark as well, so it was particularly good. And then as soon as the attack is finished, roll out of the way, and then you can get back to hitting up the rest of the sparks. By this stage, he's pretty close to being finished, but you need to look out for this judgment bolt because this is its one shot major ability that can completely destroy you. So definitely, definitely get in a potion if you can, a high potion or a cura if you desperately need it before he does this because you want full health to be able to make it through the attack. And then from here on in, it's a case of getting yourself some distance and waiting for the right opportunity to use one of your ATBs and hit up Cura. This should give you enough health to be able to make it through the rest of the fight. And by this stage, your limit should be close to being filled again. So you just need to get back to doing some damage to complete that. And that should give you the limit break at the perfect opportunity. So essentially go back to the same process that I talked through right at the beginning, throw out the shuriken, 
do your damage, try and block or parry the Luminous Falchion and then get back to doing your damage. Make sure you stay away from the newer moves like the Orbiting Ward and then this is your perfect opportunity to use the Limit Break. It should have filled up after a few more hits and you should be able to use it to do a huge amount of damage and take him to the last tiny little part of his health. So again, throw out the shuriken, do some damage, dodge anything that he throws at you, and keep your distance from his more dangerous moves, and that should see you do enough damage to finish off and beat Ramu, and pick up his materia for the rest of the battle. And that is how to beat Ramu with my tips in Final Fantasy VII Remake Intermission. Like I said earlier, hopefully that helps you out. If it does, drop a like below. You can also subscribe with the link on the left hand side and check out more of my guide for Final Fantasy VII Remake with the links on the right hand side. Leave any comments and I'll catch you next time.